Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still working on our revisions as we are preparing for the exams that are ahead of time. So we are going to be check, we are going to check this question actually, which is uh, on the menstruation of uh, plain shapes and see how we are supposed to attempt uh, such typical questions on our menstruation of plain shapes. Uh, so make sure that you join the WhatsApp group so that uh, you'll be able to send us the questions that we can uh, be able to work on. And uh, for those who like to also join for the online classes, that actually is best. Uh, so having online classes from our Zoom, so you can have typical classes of this nature whereby you can actually be able to, uh, to have a class, just like a physical class, as you can see. So it's very, very important yes, that you join. Uh, and really for whatever them, part that you're going to have with these online classes, we shall be sent a video after the class so that you'll be able to recall on whatever that you were doing. So uh, like I'm saying, we can be able to join. So there are so many revisions and so forth that you can actually have after. So it's important uh, that you be part of uh, the online class, your after, questions answered from WhatsApp, uh, from the questions that you're going to send and so forth. So uh, it's very, very important that you become part of the program. So without wasting much of your time, let us quickly rush through the questions uh, or through the part that we want to focus on, which is on our menstruation of plain shapes in this case. All right. So we have uh, a diagram that is uh, from this person, from the information that you're given here, we are given tech pi to be uh, 3.142. The diagram shows a clock face in the shape of two regular con uh, concentric octagons, center O, O8 and B are in a straight line, B O C being six centimeters, A O uh, five centimeters. All right, so we are given these dimensions is there. Uh, and on these are octagons, meaning to say we are talking about a shape that is uh, having eight uh, sides. In this case, it's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, being of uh, equal or same length. They are being taken uh, in the same length in this case from the regular part. So we are given that from B to O is six centimeters. Take note from B to O here, from the point B up to O straight, this is a six centimeters, which is the same as from C to O because we are talking about a regular shape in this case, all right? And we have also from uh, A to O, which is five centimeters. So from the point A, which is our point A here to the point O, that is where we have five centimeters. Meaning to say from D also to O, we have got five centimeters. And uh, remembering that the wall of this part was six centimeters. So meaning to say we just have one centimeter left, one centimeter left from uh, A to B in this case, and uh, from D to C. The wall of this line is six centimeters. Uh, so if we are to check here, the first question was to determine the size of A or D. What would be the size of angle A or D in this case? All right, so this is what we have uh, on the first tip part. All right, that is uh, item one, it's A. All right, so we want to calculate size of A or D, which is this angle here from A to O to D, this angle that we are given here. If we are to check here, this angle, since we are talking about a regular, so the, the angle that we are seeing at uh, A or D is the same as the angle that you're going to take from this part, from this point. From this These angles, they'll be the same throughout. And there will be eight of them equal. So knowing that angles having are from a complete revolution, our angle is supposed to be 360 degrees. So meaning to say we are simply going to divide by eight because we've got eight equal angles taken from the center uh, to, these, uh, to these points. In this case, we are taking eight equal angles taken from the center to this point. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is why we are supposed to divide by eight because they are equal from the regular part. We're talking about a regular, a regular polygon in this case, regular concentric octagons in this case. All right, so that is why we have to divide by eight. An octagon is got eight sides, meaning you say we've got eight angles. So meaning to say at the center, they're divided in uh, eight equal portions in this case. So the angle was going to be 45 degrees. So this angle in between here is 45 degrees. All right, so that was the idea of our question. And from there, 
B, item one, calculate the area of triangle AOD. So we're asked you to calculate area of triangle AOD. Take note here, truly, we are formulating a triangle here from uh, A to O to D in this case. This is a triangle that is being formulated. And as you can see, this triangle, it's a non-right angle triangle because we've got an angle of 45 degrees, uh, given that these two sides are equal from O to D, five centimeters, from O to A, five centimeters. So when you say, yes, you can find these angles, but they are not even important. Remember, if you are given a triangle and you've got two sides like this, giving us an included angle, an included angle is an angle that is found between the sides. We can calculate the area of this triangle uh, from half A, B sine of theta. So meaning to say uh, the area of triangle A or B in this case uh, from the half A, B sine of theta used when you are dealing with what? With a non-right angled triangle in this case. If it is a right angled triangle, you can simply use half base times the perpendicular height. But in this case, we are dealing with a non-right angle triangle whereby the A and the B are the sides that are creating the included angle of 45 degrees. So in this case, we're talking about five and five. So our area is going to be half of from A to O, which is five centimeters times from D to O or from O to D, which is five centimeters again times the sine of theta, which is the angle that is in between the size and our angle is uh, 45 is degrees. All right, so that is going to give us that is we can calculate the area of this triangle. This is paper two, guys. If you are dealing with paper two, use your calculator at once. All right, there's no need for us to simplify stage by stage unless you are in paper one. So from your calculator, in this case, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have half of, uh, which is one over two times five times five. So you're going to multiply five times five times the sine of 45 degrees, make sure that your calculator is showing a degree, the degree mode, the D there. So we're supposed to have a D on that mode, all right? So it's going to be uh, to give us 8 comma 8, 3, something like that, which is going to be 8 comma 8, uh, 3, 8 and so forth. So it depends with the degree of accuracy to three decimal places or so forth. So maybe to three decimal places, we're going to have 8 comma 8, 3, 9 uh, square centimeters. But uh, in our syllabus mostly, we are supposed to have our answers to three significant so figures, in this case, to three SF. So let us just write to three SF, which is going to be one, two, three. So meaning to say this is going to change into eight comma eight uh, four uh, square centimeters, all right? That is to three significant figures, talking of all numbers in this case, all right? Then we move on to the next part, which is the item two, the area of triangle B or C. So if we are to take note, we are referring to the whole of this part now from B to O to C like this part. This is what we are referring to. Remember B to O it's six centimeters in this case. That is B to O it's six centimeters. So if you check on the memo of this part or the marking guideline of this paper, it was actually an error where they used seven centimeters. This is six centimeters from B to O. All right, so the same concept, just like the previous part that we used to calculate the area, of triangle A or D, that is the same way that we can use to calculate the area of this triangle. So this time we are going to have our area of uh, triangle A or B, uh, that was triangle B or C. All right, triangle B or C. We are going to use the same formula, half A, B sine of theta, but this time half of six centimeters from B to O, that is six centimeters. So it's going to be half of six times from O to C, that is going to be uh, six centimeters again. So we have got six times the sine of theta, which is 45 degrees. The angle that is included there is uh, 45 degrees. So that is what you're going to have. Uh, just like I presented on the calculator, you do the same. You are going to obtain something like 12 comma uh, 7279 and so forth. So two, three. SF, that would be comma seven in this case, uh, square centimeters. All right. So and that is how you could have determined the area so of triangle B or C. Then the next part is to calculate the area uh, that is decorated in this case. We need to find the area that is decorated. All right, what is the decorated part in this case? This is what we have on our on our diagram. If you are to check here, there's a part that is decorated here, the one that is here in D, that is the decorated part. We've got uh, 
if we are to consider, let's consider this section alone, because this part here that uh, I'm shading here is the same as this part also from this part here. It is the same also uh, as from this part here. It's the same portion that we are going to have. So if we are to consider this, how many portions are we going to have for this part? We've got this part, which is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight of them that we are going to take uh, equal portions which are being decorated like from B to C, like this section here, to this section, to this section, to this section, to this section, to this section. Like uh, this, these are the sections that we have that are decorated. So what you simply have to work with is that you know the tri the area of this triangle B or C, the wall of this area, you calculated the area of this triangle. You also have the area of this triangle here, you calculated the area of this triangle A or D. So if we remove A or D, if we remove this triangle A or D, what are we going to remain with? We are going to remain with the section, this part that is decorated, this one. So meaning to say, if we subtract the area of triangle here, triangle A O B O C, this one that we calculated, minus the area of triangle A O D, we are finding this part that is decorated, this first part, this one. But there are eight of them which are of the same area. So meaning to say we are going to multiply eight times the area of one section that is decorated, this part only that we calculated from this uh, presentation that we have. So meaning to say the area of the decorated part in this case is going to be given as, uh, that was item three. All right, so you've got area of the decorated part. Each is what? All right, the area of the decorated part in this case, it is going to be eight into, we subtract the area of the major triangle, the bigger triangle, that is area of triangle B or C minus uh, the area of triangle uh, A or D, which was the smaller triangle in this case. So that was the concept here, minus area of triangle uh, A or D. So you simply have to apply this. So the eight here is for eight, of them, eight of these decorated portions that we are having of equal area. So we are simply going to subtract area of triangle B or C. We calculated, we got 12,7 minus the area of triangle A or D. We calculated this, that was 8,84. So we are going to simply uh, combine this part. So this is going to give us the area of the decorated part. So that was the whole idea of our question in this case, all right? So if we are to simplify, uh, what are we going to have at the end? Let us check here, you can subtract the first part. Uh, that is uh, 12 comma uh, seven minus 8,84. 8,84 in this case, we are going to obtain uh, 3 comma eight. Uh, six that is going to be three comma eight six then we multiply to eight in this case whatever that you're getting here multiply to eight that is going to give us what thirty comma uh eight eight so that's thirty comma eight eight in uh, square centimeters remember we are calculating the area so our area is going to be in uh, uh square centimeters in this case all right so that is how we have calculated the whole part that is decorated so by multiplying by eight we have calculated the whole part that is decorated so we simply calculate the area of the first part that is decorated the area of the bigger triangle b or c minus the area of triangle a or d you remain with this part that is shaded so it's area of the shaded part area of the bigger shape minus the area of the smaller shape that is inside of the yes, bigger shape. It, that is how you calculate the area that is what shaded. From there, you multiply by eight. Why? Because you are saying there are eight of these uh, sections which are of same area. Uh, so that was the idea of our question. All right, so let us check the other part, which is part C. So part C is not about even this uh, watch that we see is actually a separate question on, on its own that we just need to consider. Uh, we are given that calculate the angle through which the minute here turns in 18 minutes. The angle through which the minute hand turns in 18 minutes. Okay, if we consider a minute hand, let's say we are start, uh, starting from 12 in this case, we come back up to the point here. If the minute hand is turning in this case, 360 degrees, if it is to turn 360 degrees, 
the minute here. It means it you have covered how many minutes. That, that is the question. How many minutes right, is it going to cover in order for us to complete a revolution? It means we are talking about one hour, one hour from 12 up to 12, that's an hour, meaning to say we are talking about 60 minutes in this case. So for this minute to complete a revolution, only one revolution from its point up to, it, up, up to where it uh, started from. A complete revolution of sixty de of three hundred sixty degrees. So it has covered sixty minutes. Yes, so it's a proportion that yes, you can play around to say, at uh, for sixty minutes in this case, for sixty minutes, the the minute end is supposed to have covered a complete revolution. Talk about an hour from twelve up to that point. It has covered what one hour, which is sixty minutes, which is equivalent to a complete revolution of. Uh, 360 degrees. So the question is now, the what about for these 18 minutes that we are given there, the 18 minutes that we have, how many degrees is it going to be equivalent to? So you're now asking, you're, you're now, you're asking yourself now to say for 18 minutes, it is going to correspond to how many degrees? So it's a simple proportion type of a question that you're given. So as you can see, this is going to be less. So we are going to have 18 over, 60 multiplied to 360 degrees. All right, so that was the condition of our person. So this was going to give us 108 uh, degrees. All right, so that is uh, the uh, part of calculating an angle. So you simply refer to the, the complete revolution, 60 minutes from the one hour concept. What about for 18 minutes? All right, then we are having this part, which is actually a continuation where we are given that if the length of the minute end is four centimeters, yeah, we're talking about the minute end. They're saying if this length of minute end is uh, four centimeters, calculate the distance. The tip of the minute end moves in 18 minutes. All right, this tip of the minute end is moving. Okay, this is what we have. Let's say this is our minute end in this case. All right, from this point. It is moving, all right? The tip of the minute end is moving. All right, for 18 minutes, maybe that is where we have our 18. So meaning to say at the end, we are going to see the minute end at this point. It has moved from this point, it was moving to this point, to this point, to this point, to this point, to this point up to the point where we have 18 minutes. We are saying here, maybe we started at 12, that is going to be one, two, three, after, maybe this is where we have our 18. So we, we know that during this part here, the, the time that the minute end is going to take to uh, the minute end is going to travel in this case, that is the distance traveled in this case or the distance covered by the minute end, which is referred to as the arc length was as, as the minute end is moving at the end, it is supposed to give us a circle. That is why we're talking about the 360 degrees. In actual sense, we are supposed to have a circle. But this time it is not giving us a circle because it only covered 18 minutes from this point up to this point, not a complete revolution. Meaning to say we are supposed to be affected by a certain angle of the, of the sector that is being formed in this case. And that angle is the one that we call because we calculated before the angle through which the minute end, uh, 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 the minute end turns in 18 minutes already, we have the angle. So we know that in these 18 minutes, the angle that is corresponding there is 108 degrees. So we have the angle of the sector in this case, which is 108 degrees. And also they gave us the length of the minute end from this point, the center, to where the minute end is ending, we are given its length that it's four centimeters, it's four centimeters. So the question is to calculate now this length, which is actually the distance that was moved by the tip of the, because this is the, the minute, it's moving, the minute end, it's moving from this up to this point. So we want to know the distance that was being covered which is the length of the arc. So we are simply calculating the arc length. So that is where we are playing with our mensuration of length shape there to say, how do you calculate now arc length? So we know that the arc length, which is the distance uh, moved in this case. So like I say, the distance is simply equivalent to the arc length in this case, all right? So how do you calculate the arc length? Remember that the arc length is equivalent to theta over 360 times two pi r. The two pi r is from where? 
the complete circle. Remember, the circumference of a complete circle is given as 2 pi r. So theta over 360, it's a portion that was taken. It's a piece that we take from the 360 degrees. We, we just took 180 degrees, a portion that was taken from what? Our arc length from our complete circle in this case. So this one is going to give us our theta, which is the angle that was covered of 180 in 18 minutes. In 18 minutes, the angle corresponds to 108 degrees, so it's going to be 108. Okay, the degree part here is not even important. 108 over 360 times 2 pi. Always use the given pi. You use the value of pi that you are given for that case. Here we are given that the pi to use is what? 3.142. So this is the one that you are going to use, 3.142. All right, because... If you use any other value, you're not going to obtain exact values. So it's going to be 3.142 times the radius in this case, which is the radius now is representing what? The, the minute end, the length of the minute end, that is the radius from what well, this is like the center. So from this point to the end of the minute end, that is the radius, which is four centimeters. So this was going to give us the distance that was covered by the minute end from this point up to this point as it moves, it forms, uh, it forms an arc. But in 360 degrees, it forms a complete circle in 360 degrees. It is going to form what? A complete circle in this case. All right, so that is uh, the idea. So it's now you and your calculator. This is paper two. Like I always say, paper two, make sure you use your calculator. So that was going to be 108 over 360. Uh, multiplied to two times the pi. In this case, we are given as 3, 142 uh, times four in this case. All right, so that was going to give us uh, 7, 5, uh, 408. So to 3SF, that is going to be 7, 54 in this case. All right, so the first thing is to write the answer that you obtained as it is, all right? So our answer in this case was uh, 7, 508 which is a uh, square, all right? We are talking about distance, which is just centimeters in this case. Our distance is just centimeters. But now if we round off to three SF, depending on the instruction of the question paper that uh, that will be given for that uh, exam that you're going to sit uh, for, maybe they will ask you to three this more place or to three SF, whatever that you're given. So normally they are going to say to, to three SF. So it's going to be 7.54. Uh, centimeters. So yes, this is the distance that was being covered by the minute end in 18 minutes. If the question was asking yes, the distance that was covered by the minute end in 25 minutes, meaning to say you were going to calculate the angle that is corresponding first for the 25 minutes. This one, it was a continuation because already we calculated the angle at, uh, for 80 minutes. So meaning you say you're going to start again to say 60 minutes is supposed to correspond with 360 degrees. What about for 25 minutes? What is going to be the corresponding angle? You calculate the angle first for the 25 minutes. Then you calculate now the distance that is covered corresponding right, so to that uh, part. So here we uh, we just used this angle as it is because already we, we calculated that angle for what? For 18 minutes. So it's just a continuation. The minute end, uh, what is going to be the distance move in 18 minutes, which is the same 18 minutes that we had. All right, so these are the typical questions that you might have. Uh, let's revise for our exams, which are ahead of time. Uh, revision now is very, very important. Understand the concept. Uh, it's good to know your formulas, but also the application of the formulas. This is uh, a typical question where you are supposed to apply your formulas, not just to know your formulas, but apply them properly. So we'll see in our next revisions. Like I said, make sure that you join the WhatsApp group so that you can be able to ask your questions, send your questions. Uh, we attempted them together on this platform. So for now, that's it. Till we meet again.